Hey guys, this is Austin Reed, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect N8N to Google Sheets. So let's jump right in. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna go to console.cloud.google.com. I will leave a link to that in the description below. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to create a project. So click select a project, new project, call it whatever you want. I already made one, it's called Test for YouTube. Once you make it, make sure you have it selected. So click there. It says now viewing project test for YouTube. Then we're gonna look up Google Sheets API, okay? Once it goes enabled, it's gonna go to this screen right here. After we go to this screen, before we create the credentials, we actually have to go to the OAuth consent screen, which is right here, and we have to do this. So we're gonna click external because it's the only thing that it's letting us do with this type of Google account. We're gonna call it whatever we want. We have to put a support email. Um, I'm just gonna put the email I'm using currently. We could put a logo if we want, a domain and all that stuff. None of that matters. Just need to put here an email as well. All right, then we click save and continue. And then you've got scopes. Uh, so here you can add or remove scopes. We'll just go ahead and select them all here and hit update. And then we'll go ahead and save and continue. And then test users. Um, add the email that you're going to use to sign into, whichever one it is that has the sheets. Also on the Google Cloud Console, make sure that the account that has the Google Sheets you want to have access to is the one that's logged in. So um, let's just put, uh, let's just click add. Okay, now we've got this email. Cool, we'll click save and continue. All right, so now we're here. So now we're gonna go back to Google Sheets API and we're going to go manage and then we're going to click create credentials right here. We'll call it Google Sheets API. We're going to put user data here. I'm gonna click next, save and continue. And an application type, we're gonna put web application, web client one. And this is where we need to jump over to N8N so we can go here. We're going to go add credential. We're gonna go sheets, OAuth2, hit continue. <clears throat> We're gonna grab this OAuth redirect URL. Uh, We're gonna add it here. And you're gonna hit create. And then we have the client ID here. And we go back to it in, client ID. We're going to click done. And then we need the client secret. So, and here's the client secret right here. Feel free to steal this. I'm gonna delete it here in five minutes. So don't worry. Uh, client secret, we'll put it here. Uh, I always click save first and then sign in with Google. Now there is kind of a bug here. So we're gonna click the account that, you know, is authorized. Uh, Google hasn't verified the app. Click continue, it's fine. Select all, click continue. And it says connected, the window can be closed now, right? We close the window, it's not gonna show anything here. But if you exit out, uh, you close, and then you just refresh the page. This is weird, this is bug. And you go back, it says account connected. Once the account's connected, you can add it to workflows as needed. So we're gonna just add a, a manual trigger node, we're gonna go sheets. Google Sheets right here, and we'll go, let's just do create a spreadsheet. And we've got Google Sheets account number three. We're gonna create one, it's called test for YouTube. Uh, and then we're going to actually just test it. And it said it created a sheet. All right, and so now we have the Google Sheets open and we can see we do have the sheet in fact working. So now your Google Sheets is connected to N8N successfully. So I hope that this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you wanna see some more tips and tricks for N8N or just automation in general, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys later.